Big Game, Little Penis. That's the title of today's vlog. And we're talking about Cecil the Lion. Uh, I think probably everyone in the country, everyone in the world knows about Cecil the Lion, which is funny and a little bit ironic. I find it, before I tell, talk about this, I do find it a little ironic that everybody is so fucking upset about this lion being killed. And meanwhile, there's just like so many terrible things happening in the world. I mean, for example, Adam Sandler just came out with a new movie. Nobody's talking about Adam Sandler's new movie and how that's a travesty. Pixel? Now Jeff Dunham's still on television and we're talking about Cecil like that's the biggest tragedy of the last decade or something. Well, it's not. But it does still suck. If you guys who don't know, this fucking... This doctor, a dentist from Minnesota, paid $50,000 to go hunt a lion. And that premise isn't that unusual. In Africa, it happens all the time <clears throat> where rich-ass people buy a license to hunt an endangered animal and then their money goes towards cons conserving the wildlife. Whether or not the money actually goes through towards conserving the wildlife, I don't know, but it, the fact is that it's legal. Well, this guy went to Africa, baited a national treasure. This is like a famous lion that was being, you know, tracked and studied and beloved by people and photographed. Apparently he was a really nice lion. He didn't like trouble people. People could like just photograph him and his family and he didn't, he was cool. He was a cool lion, dude. Cecil, he was a cool ass lion. This is something about this story too that pissed me off. The dude's like, I shot him with a bone arrow, dude. I'm a fucking hunter. The only, pe the only reason people use bone arrows is because it's less noisy. And, and it doesn't alert the park ranger. It doesn't make you more of a fucking badass. Have you seen these bow and arrows lately? It's like, it's like a fucking gun. It's basically a gun. It doesn't take skill, dude. It's like this crazy thing with all these wires and shit. It's just like, oh, skilled hunt, skilled hunt. It's like a fucking gun, dude. It's not any different. It's just less noisy. That still didn't kill the iron. <clears throat> so the so he's, this fucking badass hunter, the dentist from Minnesota shot him with an arrow the lion didn't die. So they're like, you know what? Let's take, let's go to sleep because it's kind of late. And look, 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 dude, it's kind of late, okay? I need to drink some fucking tea, okay? Have some biscuits and, ha and have a good night's sleep, okay? Yeah, I know I'm on a hunt in Africa, but come on, I, that's no substitute for a good night's sleep, right? I'm a dentist from Minnesota. I need a good night's sleep. So they go to sleep. And then the next day, they track the blood trail of the lion. 40 hours after they shot him with the bow and arrow, they finished the hunt by shooting the injured lion with a rifle and cutting his head off, skinning him, and leaving his mangled corpse on the ground. And by the way, if these guys were so concerned about killing a national treasure, Cecil the lion, he was a cool ass lion, dude. They tried to destroy the tracking thing. Not exactly the move of a clean conscious individual. This was another lion. I guess here they put another line like making love with his wife just to make it seem more <laughs> emotional. Yeah. This one, this one actually was, was, this one made me feel the worst. Like the, with this beautiful leopard and your fucking crossbow, it's like, dog, you're not that dope. You're not a fucking hunter. You're not tracking him in the woods, spending like, you're not spending months in the forest, like tracking his paws and shit and like searching him out. You're just rolling around in a Jeep with a bunch of fucking assholes with rifles. You didn't do anything cool, dude. You just pulled the trigger. Fuck you, dude. You're probably like getting pegged. This guy's wife probably fucks him in the ass, dude. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Look at him, dude. Look at him shirtless holding his leopard. That dude likes to get pegged. I'm sure of it, okay? What the fuck, dude? How did dentists make so much money? Can we talk about that? I mean, we went to the dentist recently and we got hooked up by my sister. Ela got one filling and it cost a, it cost a thousand bucks, dude. We got that shit and I'm like, like to think that my thousand dollars is funding trips like this? <laughs> Who gives a fuck about dentistry, dude? Get real. Meanwhile, what the hell, what the hell, dude? Well, how am I, how, what do I do for a thousand dollars? Jesus Christ, dude. My God. Dentists are making so much money. I think that needs to be the big story that comes out of this whole hunting thing, dude. We're ruining, we're already ruined the world. Why do you need to go fucking kill endangered species? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Just buy some cocaine and fucking kill yourself as a normal white collar businessman, dude. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Go fuck a prostitute, whatever the hell, dude. Stop with this shit, man. In 50 years, 
all these animals are going to be gone. There's going to be no sharks. There's going to be no fucking fish. There's going to be no lions. There's going to be no rhinos. There's going to be no leopards. All these cool ass animals. Elephants. Fucking elephants are cool as hell. Bye bye. Whales. 50 years. All these animals are going to be fucking gone. Not a joke, dude. And this fucking asshole is out there shooting them. So God bless. Big up. One day closer to death. Yada, yada, yada. The world has all gone mad. And meanwhile, Jim Carrey's new movie's out in the theaters, guys. So go check out Pixel. I'm sure Jim it's going to be a slam dunk. And he'll be able to afford a thousand safari death kills. So guys, go check out Pixel. It's coming out this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys there, okay? Ta-ta. See you guys next week. This is another H3H3 vlog. One day closer to the ultimate denies. Nothingness is right around the corner, guys. And I'll meet you there. Bye now.